Hello and welcome to the Finnish countryside. August arrived and brought once again so much beauty with it. Even though at least the beginning is still clearly summer, the nights are getting cooler and the evenings are getting shorter. August brought something else as well, namely the first real harvests. In this video, I will show you how our garden is looking like right now and I will tell you which are the biggest mistakes I made this year, meaning what I'm gonna do in another way next year. If you haven't been here before, my name is Hertha and this is our very first garden year, so if you want to see what total beginners can achieve even here in the far north, stay tuned! So we will start here in the stone garden, which has made us very very happy. We have been thinking how lucky we were that this one was here. Stefan um, built it a bit another way in the in the autumn. For example, that bigger thing there, which has of course brought a lot more space. And here in the edge, in the corner, would be um, one box more which we didn't do last year so maybe this year this autumn i will empty it as well so that i can put something in there as well but i think we will start in the greenhouse we have this small greenhouse here in the back oh i think i need some water first So here in the greenhouse, um, we have the tomatoes, pepper, and some greenhouse cucumber. Mm. And here comes already the first big mistake, which was that I didn't realize that I had planted only cherry tomato, not a single normal tomato, not a single. I have those. Um, bush tomatoes which are a bit bigger but that's also a cherry tomato so that is something which I have to look a bit better next year <laughs> so that we get all the normal tomatoes and not all cherry tomatoes but I have to say this um, have worked very well mm, another problem what I had is that mistake what I made is that I planted them them here too near each other because I once again didn't realize how big they get and how much place space they need so that's also next year what I have to do in another way uh, leave a bit more space for them but otherwise uh, we are very very satisfied with our cherry tomatoes <laughs> even though they are only cherry tomatoes, but they are super tasty and delicious and uh, as you can see, we have plenty of them. We are eating every day and I'm cooking a lot with them and it's just really nice. And then um, what also uh, worked very well is the pepper here in the greenhouse. There are now I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bigger peppers coming, and I think it doesn't <laughs> take much longer, and we can harvest them as well. So we haven't been yet um, drying them, um, and then I have another pepper there, which I brought here in the greenhouse a bit later, so it it took a bit longer and there is also a third one which i think that came too late so for the next year i know that the, this greenhouse here in the in the stone garden this is the place for cherry tomatoes and for pepper and then um this greenhouse cucumber it doesn't have to be here and what I noticed, or we noticed, is that we don't need it at all because it's not that tasty. 
um, compared to the normal cucumber which is growing uh, outside the skin is not that uh, spiky and not that hard but otherwise uh, we like that cucumber which is growing outside in the snow garden we like it more so next year we decided already that we don't we don't take this greenhouse cucumber at all because it makes no sense it takes only place away because this greenhouse i this next year it will be a place for tomatoes for real tomatoes this time and of course some cherry tomatoes but not that not that many and for pepper and otherwise I don't know yet if we want to try something like watermelon <laughs> let's see but tomatoes and pepper will be here definitely and then here in the first box outside we have this normal outside cucumber which has been going very very well there are some delicious things coming again so we have been eating a lot of cucumber it is delicious and there was one mistake i made and that was that i planted way too many of them because okay luckily we have the chickens they can eat them as well and our kids love cucumber so they are eating it just like that and we already made some pickled cucumbers also very very delicious and we are gonna make some more as well but still mm, there's a limit and there's also something which i didn't know before that there is really so many cucumbers coming from just one plant and then next to cucumber there is one row of uh, potatoes because we had so many potatoes and they are now everywhere here in the yard because we didn't have a, that much um, space for them in the field we have been harvesting and drying them already and they are very very delicious so but we don't yet know how many and where everywhere we are going to get them but potatoes work as well and then on the other side there was just some uh, radish which has been growing very well and is uh, delicious as well and then we had here normal sugar peas and they could have been more we now had only this one row and we are eating them a lot because they are just so tasty and delicious so next year i think we need one more row at least one more and then next to the peas here are beans uh how are they called this normal green peas uh beans these ones so we have been harvesting them already and they are very very delicious as well i don't know if it's everything that's coming from your own garden <laughs> but yeah tasty and good and for the next year we need more of them as well oh and then <laughs> next to the beans here are some cherry tomatoes outside because i had so many plants of them i actually even sold some tomato plants because i just i had so many and then we thought okay let's put some of them just outside and we were quite sure that it doesn't work but look at this They get red. I don't know yet how they taste, but there are plenty of them and they are getting red. And then next there is some zucchini, which has been growing also very, very well. We have been eating a lot of zucchini, but for the next year, the same thing as with many other things as well. We don't need that much zucchini. Hmm? and that was the last box there in the edge in the corner there are more of these outdoor cucumbers so we definitely have enough 
Oh, but I forgot the middle middle box. This edge is a bit mushy mushy. Here is some chives. Then I don't even know. Then there are leeks, which we have been already harvesting. Uh, leeks need a lot of time. I planted them already in March. And now they are slowly getting ready. Then here are some more leeks. Next year we need some um, even more leeks because leeks is very very um, delicious and good. And then in the middle, this one row you see, those are the carrots because there is um, yet there is no no space yet in the field for carrots. So next year there will be. We hope we manage to make a carrot field, but they grow very good as well here. But this is, of course, um, would be better place for something else. However, then here is uh, always some salad growing, and then there was a spinach, and uh, I don't even know what else. Then I oh here were some some onions this kind of like um, how you say it, this <laughs> um silver onions and um <laughs> in in german they are spring spring onions i don't know, not know now how they are called and here in this side as well we need some onions and they are so delicious for cooking because they they are good in every food then I think here, oh, here are the parsnips. There, I haven't been looking how they are looking like, but I think they are quite good. Let's see. And then the last one, they are the beetroots. Hmm? These red ones. I had there two types of beetroot and the other one was mm, actually not a beetroot uh, but uh, not that uh, strong one and oops, I have to say it's not that good because it doesn't taste that much like a beetroot does so I hope the other one the other type of them is better one let's see um, we are gonna get some beetroot salad and uh, just pickle them and so on so let's see how they then taste but they grow good here as well but the plan is of course to put them in the field like all the other that kind of plants as well and i almost forgot in the back there's Stefan um, built, built this uh, new beet and there are some pumpkins there we I made once again a mistake and planted way too many pumpkins because there are some real bombs coming. I'll show you. Almost sized my head. So it wasn't planted. We are getting so many and so big pumpkins because the seeds were already over I think five years old or so. But um, I hope they are taste. That's something that we can say before they are ready. But if they are not that tasty, we luckily can give them to the chicken as well. Or we just have some very pretty Halloween pumpkins. Last year we planted here some strawberries and they came back this year. And here, tada, it's a potato field. Hmm? I think Stefan hasn't yet tried to get some of them out here. So we are not quite sure how much there will be. But they bloom very beautifully and they are looking great. So we just assume that there are some. <laughs> Maybe not that many, 
maybe maybe yes i don't know yet and next year i guess we need to get the field a bit bigger again because potatoes are good we like potatoes we eat a lot of potatoes of course we don't yet know this year there will probably be not that many of them but then later which is um, what is the good type of the potatoes those are of course questions as a beginner you don't have any answers to them before you try it and see it and then from the potatoes the last one to intergarden so sorry for the mess i haven't been spending here all that much time during the summer obviously I have to say this was a super place for pre-planting which I started already in March because here everything stays in here there's nothing on the kitchen table or so it's a perfect place for that and it's also a perfect place for some plants but for the most of them it's not a good place except on the window and so on we thought we'll try also the tomatoes, how the cherry tomatoes are doing here and they didn't do very well. <laughs> and that's why they also look like that now. I didn't have any interest <laughs> anymore <laughs> to take care of them that much, like cutting and so on, because they just didn't grow. There wasn't any tomatoes coming. There have been some, but compared to the greenhouse tomatoes, so that's why next year no tomatoes are staying here and the same thing is with pepper the peppers didn't do that well here neither except one on the window there i guess it has enough light there and what also what didn't do that well is chili <laughs> i i don't know Maybe it's the light, the warmth, or I did too, I didn't shake them enough, or I don't know. Greenhouse cucumber. We left two greenhouse cucumbers here to see how they're doing here. <laughs> they didn't do very well. I think we have now one cucumber from here, so no, or cucumber as well. But which has what has been very, very good here is the eggplant i read uh, in the spring that eggplant needs constant warm so that's why i thought okay i'll just leave it here here it's constant the temperature doesn't rise or sink that much and it was a good choice we have been harvesting eggplant since i think one month already and they are delicious so next year <laughs> this is gonna be an eggplant house eggplant garden because then i'll have enough space on the window for that one and for some herbs as well because basil i have been harvesting it already like i don't know how much i have been um, freezing it because i like it at most when it's fresh or frozen because when it's like dry it doesn't taste that much now of course i would like to <laughs> make here everything already away and clean it and make everything ready for next year now that i know which what is good in here and what's not that good in here and how much light they need and what's um, clearly not enough light and so on but mm, i think it's a bit too early so i hope you liked this video i hope it wasn't way too long even though it was quite long but there was just so much to show and so much to tell because um i do think it's quite amazing <laughs> what everything you can grow and how much stuff you actually get um also without any experience when you just read a bit and um hear um stuff from people who know it and then of course try it because i think gardening is also stuff like some other things that there are so many ways to do stuff like there are gardeners so 
someone is telling that that is good and then the other says no that doesn't work and you just have to try it for yourself of course the climate the microclimate <laughs> makes also a lot where are you staying and where are your plants and so on hmm? but this, this, this is everything what uh, what all the experienced the gardeners know but <laughs> we are still so beginners here that we are just very very thrilled about what everything we got this year and of course now we are waiting for the next year very very thrilled as well because now we saw that we can do it and next year we'll know so much more again and we can try so much more and that's just very very nice i think so did i already say yes i said already <laughs> i hope you like this video but now i have to end it because otherwise it's way too long so i wish everyone a nice weekend and we'll see us next time bye bye